Good evening, I'm Scott Hennessy. Thank you for joining us. CJ and Beth are off today. It was a day of cleanup for public works crews after a weekend of rain, snow, flooding and a full freeway shutdown. News Channel reporter John Palmentary has been checking on the recovery and John, it was a scary situation for many people. Yeah, we're right above the freeway right now on the Olive Mill overcrossing and the southbound traffic is going pretty slow, but not like it was Saturday night when all this was going down roughly between 7 and 10 o'clock. There, of course, was the intense rain, the hail and the snow coming down in the area, and it certainly was a reminder of some of the past destructive events around here. Okay, this is nuts. It's the worst I've ever seen it. Going a good 30, 40 miles an hour. Oh my god, oh my god. Quite a cloudburst. I hadn't I expected such a strong cloudburst like that at all. Wherever you were in parts of Carpinteria, Summerlin, and Montecito Saturday night, some of the hardest hit rain you could experience was coming down. The runoff brought small creeks heading to the ocean to their brink, and they were moving at a tremendous pace. And a combination of hail and snow was part of the sky-banging thunder and lightning event. Snowing in Montecito. It all flooded Highway 101 in the tight construction zone with K-rails on both sides and poor drainage. Some cars made it through, and hundreds of cars were stopped, stranded, swamped, and eight rescues were made. The CHP and Montecito fire were flooded with calls. The very rare snow and hail remained until the next morning. It was making one ranch resident who lives near a normally safe creek nervous. Oh man, we were starting to feel helpless at that point. When it, when it was breached on both sides and it was overflowing the, the bridge, we were starting to feel we're kind of at Mother Nature's whim. After December's intense storm, they had made a dual path for runoff water with a trench on one side and sandbags on the other. We cut a path through there and we sandbag higher on the barn side. That should force water away from the building, which is what we wanted. But the water got through. The water level was rising, coming up to all the way from the back of the kitchen towards the stairs. The damaging rain let up just in time to save the rustic home. It took about probably a half hour, 45 minutes to where that water would drain out and we could see the floor again. All the rain loosened soil in many locations and that's created a long cleanup list for Santa Barbara County Public Works crews who have downed trees and many slides to pick up. Several sections of Ortega Hill Road came apart during the driving rain bringing down big chunks of rock, dirt and debris onto the roadway, closing off both lanes for more than a day. The rainfall total for the Montecito area in three days was estimated at over five inches, with Saturday night's event at one point flushing the area with more than an inch an hour. And this certainly was an emergency situation in so many ways for the California Highway Patrol, the County Public Works Department, Montecito and Carpinteria Fires and other agencies as well. Caltrans mobilizing Saturday and Sunday to open up drains, get the debris out of the way, clear the freeway and get traffic moving again. They were out again, as we say, all day today assessing what happened and what they could do to clean it up. Reporting live above Highway 101 at the Santa Barbara Montecito intersection, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. Thank you very much, John. As we take a look outside at Santa Maria today,